really can't take this in my mouth. <laughs> It's disgusting. In this awesome air clip, we will eat together crispy rice. Yay! R S M Air Cuts. Halli, hallo, hello. Hola. Oh, hola. So, it is another episode for my ASMR Cuts YouTube channel. I hope you have your headphones close by because they have to come into your ear because this is a high quality recording. Oh. The microphones are here to give you the best satisfaction of ASMR sound. So if you are a gourmet, an ASMR gourmet, feel free to click on the notification bell, subscribe, comment, and follow me. Oh yeah. And this is the object of ASMR satisfaction for this episode. Crispy rice. Have you eaten crispy rice before? Of course. Have you not? Oh, yes. And Flora, is it your kind of favorite sweet? No. No. <laughs> Because it's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of uh, a lot of object, and there's not much to it. But uh, I like the sounds and. Spirulina again. 
intense taste. Yeah. And it's not intensely good. <laughs>
Ich hab verschont. Because of the sensitive fact. Oh, Mann, das ist have to taste so disgusting that your fault that why you, is everything my fault that you can't even make an ASMR episode with it I really can take this in my mouth and it's bad it's disgusting it's bad yeah can we just call it the rice pops uh, the crispy rice fail overly sweet I will always remember when I was in Asia and tried to make their sweet episode and then I bought from the 7-Eleven there so many different sweets it's oh, so disgusting it's crazy oh, goosebumps all over my body at some point I just couldn't try it anymore and there it's really crazy because This is like kind of intense because of the weird taste, but very intense taste. And the everything tastes like this, only 10 times stronger. Yeah, then you have like sour, and it's sour, it's so sour that it just like melt your tongue away, you know. And then sweet, it's like so sweet that it's not even taste sweet. It's, it's so aggressive, it's crazy. In Asia, they have the sweetest stuff from all. They are super sweet, they also... I Every don't remember it. it's like I think I was in China when I was 21, I think. You was in China? Yeah, but I don't remember the I don't, I'm sure I eat candy, but I don't remember. But what they did, you know they're always selling the stuff on the on the streets, the, the barbecues. And then they also had like sweet stuff, but I I think it was sweet potato or something. And they dipped it in this um um um, um oh god, uh you know, this milk in a can that is basically Yes. Yeah, how do you call this? Uh, I don't know. But you know, this sweet yeah. milk in a can. Yes. And they dipped everything in this one. So yeah. sweet potato dipped in this. But I liked it. But this, they do in Thailand. They yeah. did in Thailand too. Also in the coffee and everything. Yeah. Because they know that whipped cream. It's everywhere. But in Thailand, they have even liquid sugar. Where they make the banana shakes or something with. Oh god, I still have to eat my banana shake today. <laughs> She have the most disgusting bananas brought in our home. But I will eat them. They will not go to waste. Save food always. <laughs> It's crazy. I will eat it. Like, we have to make a video from it. <laughs> we can. But when you make it in a banana shake, then it's not interesting anymore. You have to peel it if it's still possible. <laughs> You was in China. I think I can't travel to China because I'm too tattooed. They don't let me in. I don't know. But tell me more. Well, I've been uh, I've been there two months with my partner at the time, and we were um, we went there because his auntie she was uh, living she was working there, so we started at her place. But she left like in a how do you say like a compound like away from the locals, so that was too boring for us but we used it as a starting point and then we then we just went backpacking and because we didn't we didn't speak the language we kind of stayed in the bigger cities so uh, you can't speak Chinese <laughs> <laughs> actually I was that stupid and slightly arrogant that I thought a two weeks crash course in Chinese uh, <laughs> will teach me anything well what can you learn in two weeks because it's not just a lot language is another language from another language family so it's a completely different way of yeah. thinking and concepts so even just to learn the basic concepts would be so difficult uh, but it was a great experience
first term I would get uh, chicken yes. and fish, but no meat. So the first translation was like no meat. And then I think the next translation would uh, get me just fish and sea products. Okay. Or sea yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know. So we went through a few more. And then at the end I was like, no, no, I got the right translation. And I got like a really nice uh, Tom Kha, like a nice coconut soup. And I was like, there's tofu, there's mushrooms, there's coconut milk. This is vegan because I knew for sure there's not going to be fish sauce in there because we asked for the fish sauce. And then there were like tiny black dots inside the soup. And I was like, to my, to my boyfriend, what are those? What are those little spots? Like, is this like a spice? I don't know. What are those? And then we were examining it and it was like micro tiny shrimps, but they were transparent in the see it was the eyes. <laughs> yeah, so I, went, I just ate a bunch of eyes. And then I got the right translation, which was like vegetarian and no eyes. So it literally translated <laughs> with no eyes. And from then on, I finally had my um, vegetarian in the sense what the Western culture calls vegetarian. <laughs> but it was such a struggle. But they, on the uh, barbecue on the streets, they always had the grilled tofu. And then I had like a garlic uh, sesame oil, uh, oil sauce they put on top and some roasted sesame and garlic, fresh garlic and that was amazing. And they also always had those woks with the water spinach. Yes. Yeah, and they put this in huge woks with lots of garlic, sesame and then the grilled tofu and that was also always the cheapest. So yeah, so every day, one time we stayed at the same, in a beach for one week and I every day saw me from coming closer they already prepared because <laughs> they knew i was just gonna gonna use this one yeah honestly after this right now i'm really craving some nice nice chinese food because <laughs> it's so simple and fresh and you eat it you grab it you eat it you talk to the people who prepared for you you can thank them then you go to the beach that was that was good yeah <laughs> and you was there two months yeah okay and you would go back again? Yeah, definitely. But maybe I would rather go to uh, maybe to a country where maybe where they speak English because I really like connecting with locals and you know that's for me that's the nicest way to learn about a culture. So it would be nice for someone who speaks English. But but I heard so many amazing things about Thailand. I think that's uh, that's the next place I want to go. I really want to go to Japan. But nobody Japan. want to go with yeah. me. I would because I love anime. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Maybe we can go together. Anime Shibari, let's go. <laughs> but you'll cool. see me only with my with my anime outfits running. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your friend or Naruto? <laughs> Is that your friend or Naruto? <laughs> I really think they have an awesome style of culture and it looks super interesting and with the with all this yeah I don't know I just want to go there I hope I can do it at some point and find someone who go with me because nobody won't I'm going on your maybe list <laughs> because it's like super overpopulated and I don't like that much overpopulated but it is what it is in but China you cannot Japan. Japan. yeah then you can I don't know what's worth Jap Japan or China but China was crazy we did some couch surfing and um, yeah basically shared, shared like one room with her yes yeah. there was a couch and a bed which is amazing I mean I love yeah. couch surfing yeah. but uh, she said yeah uh, she offers because usually she lives with two friends in this flat so they always share a bed and a yeah. couch and I think it's such a great lesson to not own so much and not yes. to use so much space yes. and to share it. Yeah, because I it, can't anyway it's too expensive I know, I know but being used to this tiny space I think that's a good lesson for life because we need so much space and yeah, we yeah. need so much stuff and uh, if you're forced to that and you're used to that I think that that's a good humbling experience yeah that's absolutely right yeah I would like to go there for the nature and for 
think we are finished. So, I think we just throw it in the trash after it. So, please follow, subscribe, like. It was a weird episode, but the rice, weird. the crispy rice was not that good. Yeah, stay weird. Like, subscribe, Christian.